Welcome everybody. I have to wait for the beat drop. I'm sorry. Hopefully people just click and be like, why isn't this guy talking? Welcome everybody. I am going to be talking about Zeb Striker and these really, really, really awesome buffs and changes. But before I get into that, I want to have a quick little disclaimer to check out the description below and just look at all of the new moves and move buffs and changes because those are super important uh, to understanding how the Pokemon function. Now, I will be covering some of them briefly in this video, but there are literally every move is buffed or changed, so it would take absolutely forever to go over all of them. Uh, just keep in mind that it is laid out pretty nicely for you to look at. Uh, you know, I put them into categories and it's really easy to, to uh, what, what am I trying to say? It's easy to look at all the move buffs in that way. Uh, but with that being said, we've got some Striker. They are an electric normal type now. Um, I presume that a good chunk of my audience would probably be cool with this change and think it's cool and understand why just by looking at it. For those of you who are like type change uh, contrarians or whatever who are like, no, this Pokemon shouldn't be a type change. Um, something you need to keep in mind in this ROM hack is that there are 721 Pokemon, and I tried to balance, uh, I am trying to balance actively every single Pokemon so that they don't outclass one another. Uh, there are already, for example, uh, pure electric. There, there are like seven or eight pure electric types, and they already have a lot of overlap issues because two of them have electric surge, and then maybe two, three of them have electric surge? Or is it just two? I don't know. Ra Raichu and, and Jolteon. Yeah, and then like a couple of them are lightning rod. It's just it's just a lot of overlap that is ugly and not ideal. Uh, and adding another pure pure electric, fast pure electric type um, would be dumb. Uh, not to mention there is Manectric, who is uh, a pure electric type with speed boost. So I believe maybe Mega Mega Manectric has speed boost. Well, base form. I'm pretty sure. Let me quickly check. I actually forget which of the two I get speed boost. Pretty sure the base form has to be boost, right? Yeah, yeah, I was right. Cool. Um, but with that being said, that's one of the main reasons I did this type change, purely just for balancing reasons, to keep it unique, because the only other electric normal types are, uh, I believe there's only one other, Pachu Busu. Um, <laughs> there is one that I am not naming for a reason, but, because um, <laughs> um, yes, I know there is originally one. But anyway, yeah, um, there's one other electric normal type. Okay, so, and that one is much more support oriented, not to mention it's purely special attacking. It's Pachi Visu. It's very strong with electric surge, um, and it's also very fast. But the Striker is a very powerful mixed attacker with, with, with the ability speed boost and reckless. Logically, electric normal also fits. Um, if you're familiar with my rapid dash buffs, these are literally actually almost identical to those. Uh, it has the identical stat spread, and then it has um, the same abilities uh, as a Striker and rapid dash, and that's intentional. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool to do that. Um, and they both are very strong that way because with speed boost, you can actually run zero speed investment and you can either invest max in both of your offenses or you can go max HP and actually take some hits pretty well because 75, 70, 70 with max HP, you know, can swallow a couple of hits. Not to mention you do have that normal typing, which gives you an immunity to ghost, which gives you a lot more uh, switching opportunities, which is always nice. Uh, yes, you do gain a weakness to fighting, but you're relatively frail, so you're going to die to strong fighting type attacks anyways. Um, I'd rather, you'd much rather have the ghost type immunity, which is a very strong, uh, potent offensive type. So having that immunity is always nice. Um, and it just fits, it fits the vibes, you know, same as like Pyro, or, you know, it's, it's, it's just a horse zebra guy. So I think Electric Normal is very cool. And of course that does give him that dual stab, uh, which is very much needed. And uh, not to mention he has incredible coverage, but dual stab with stuff like Extreme Speed, Skull Bash, and then of course stuff like Reckless Double Edge, as well as Strength, Gate Impact, Hyper Beam, all of these buff, buffed and changed moves are very powerful. Um, um, Skull Bash is super cool, especially with Speed Boost, because it gives you plus uh, Speed... Skull Bash, excuse me, gives you a Coil Boost now, which is really cool. So you can use a like, Power of Skull Bash plus Speed Boost and just become super bulky and strong uh, with, like, max HP and max uh, attack or something. That'd be really fun. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff that you can do on the, with, with the Striker now because of the abilities. So Reckless gives you that 20% boost to moves such as Double Edge, Volt Tackle, Overheat, Flare Blitz, High Jump Kick, Headlong Rush, Head Smash, uh, wild Charge, Play Rough, Take Down, Rock Climb, and Electro Assault. He has a plethora of recoil moves. So you have Rock Coverage, Fighting Coverage. Oh, I didn't get Submission. Uh, I don't think they did anyways. They have High Jump, Kick, and Take Down, so man, it doesn't really fit that well anyways. Not that it doesn't fit, but yeah, they don't need it. It would kind of fuck up the format, so I'll just leave it as it is. Um, but yeah, they have Take Down, High Jump, Kick, Rock Climb, Head Smash, Headlong Rush, Wild Charge, Electro Assault, Overheat, and Flare Blitz, as well as Play Rough. All of those are recoil moves. Those are all given a 20% boost. Another cool thing is if you go to the Hell Atom Changes and Buffs, you can see that the Shell Bell is buffed to heal you by 20%. And those TM recoil moves, Wild Charge, Play Rough, Take Down, and Rock Climb, all have 20% recoil. So what that means is you can slap on that Shell Bell and actually negate the recoil damage. It's really, really cool. Um, you heal off the recoil. However, uh, 
the 25% recoil moves, which are overheat flare blitz, uh, in this case, are overheat flare blitz, double edge bolt tackle, you know, those types of moves, those, those, those get 25% recoil. Um, you're gonna want uh, shop bell will still heal 20 out of the 25 percent so you're only taking five percent recoil and that recoil so that's not bad at all that's very good um recoil is also not the end of the world anyways you can always just you know nuke one or two pokemon and then bolt switch out or you turn out or parting shot out uh and you you know your sub striker's role is finished for that boss fight because you have to keep in mind that these buffs and changes are not balanced for competitive play they are balanced for in-game use and in-game is a totally different meta and a totally different like system than competitive uh so you can easily tailor your move sets and your abilities and your ev spreads for specific fights so you can easily run a physical set for one fight a fast you know max special attack max speed set for one other fight max attack max speed with reckless max uh attack max xp with speed boost you know you can really go go to town and just really abuse that stuff um you have great setup with swords dance bulk up and nasty plot uh great covers like i said um you know with the ground fire bug steel psychic fairy rock fighting all, all kinds of stuff okay everything you'd ever want um it's probably a couple i missed there i'm just rattling them off uh but it's just a really strong fast mixed attacker um and that's really fun uh that dual stab really helps it out uh, the Blitzel is a lot stronger just because, you know, it, it's the same base that total as Ponyta, and Ponyta already had a high base that total, so I figured match Blitzel because these two are kind of parallel evolutionary lines anyways, um, in my head at least. Um, and you don't have Reckless as Blitzel because it's useless, so you'll just be running Sap Zipper, which is nice for certain situations. You can slap that on, hard switch it in, you get that just what, you get that physical attack boost, and of course you also just, you know, take zero damage from like uh, Grass type moves, which is nice for a lot of situations in the early and mid game. So that's really cool. Uh, good ability there as well. Uh, you also have tons of ways to boost your speed as besides with speed boost, so not only do you have speed boost and also agility via TM, you also have Flame Wheel, Zing Zap, and Electro Ball, all of which give you a plus one speed boost now. So um, you can use all of these boosting moves in conjunction with Power Trip and Speed Boost, and you can actually rack up a lot of stat boosts really quickly and get Power Trip to be super strong. Uh, keep in mind, Power Trip, will give you, Power Trip will give you another plus one attack boost in this hack. However, it only has three PP. Uh, same with other setup moves. They all have limited PP just for balancing reasons, but they're still great moves nonetheless. And you also have a lot of great utility. You know, uh, very fast with Strange Impulse and Parting Shot and Taunt and Dual Screens and all kinds of other fun stuff you can take advantage of. So it's a great utility Pokemon as well. Um, every Pokemon in this hack, for the most part, has some utility, um, which is good because you do need some defensive counterplay to all of the offensive stuff in the hack. Um, yeah, I don't know, I think I've low-key covered everything. It's, it's just a really strong, fast mixed attacker with good coverage and good stab and great abilities. They're very fitting, obviously. I mean, it's an electric zebra, speed boost, and reckless are perfect for it. Um, the power, I guess I can cover the power of the reckless moves. So, uh, wild charge, rock climb, take down, and play rough become 110, 10, 11, 11, 22, 132 base power. Uh, quick little mental math there. And then... Uh, Overheat and Flare Blitz and Double Edge and Bolt Tackle all become 150 base power of Reckless, and then um, Have Long Rush, Head Smash, and Electro Assault all become 100 and... 1.2... Uh, 1.1 is 15, 30, 180. 180 base power. Um, so those are all incredibly powerful. Uh, and the good thing about having Electro Assault and Head Smash and Head Long Rush is that you're already relatively frail without HP investment, so you can easily just spam those moves. Um, you know, and not have to worry about the defense drop because you're going to kill whatever, whatever's in front of you anyway. That's why, you know, something like Close Combat is so good, as well as Strength, which is normal type Close Combat. You just, you've got all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, Electro Ball is super fun with Speed Boost because Electro Ball not only gives you a plus one Speed Boost each time you click it, but it gets even stronger the faster you are. So, you know, you got Electro Ball plus Speed Boost plus like Nasty Bot or something would be super, super sick. You can really uh, snowball out of control there. Um, like I said, you don't need to run speed investment really at all with speed boost ever. Like even if you have like a negative speed nature and zero speed IVs, you'll still have speed almost everything in the hack after one single turn. So, you know, you can slap protect on it if you have the room for it, or you can just stall out a turn somehow. You do have recharge, which is pretty good as well with speed boost. Recharge heals you by 33%, one third, uh, and doubles the power of your next electric attack, essentially tripling it because of stab. So that's really fun as well. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think I covered about everything. Um, a couple other really fun things I could cover, like E-Speed is great, um, although you don't need the priority, honestly, because you are really fast and strong regardless, but it's still nice for certain situations if something in front of you is faster, or you're running a bulkier set, or a mixed set, or whatever, and you don't have speed investment first on that first turn. Really depends on what you need. Um, Electro Outburst is an incredibly powerful move, that's 180 base power, minus 4 special attack. Zap Cannon is the more uh, widespread version of that, which is, you know, simple 150 base power, but minus 2 special attack, tons of moves like that. Uh, exist in this hack if you are new here and are unfamiliar with that um, so definitely give those a look in the description below but yeah i think i'm just gonna leave the video off there uh super sick buffs and changes for the striker very much needed he was super underwhelming uh 
So yeah, thank you so much for listening. And I will be back for more You Never Pokemon coming up. Uh, all I ask in return is that you do subscribe to the channel. I am close to 1K, so hopefully you can help me get there. Uh, yeah, bye everybody.